guest is a very funny woman with a very foul mouth. You know her from the Comedy Central Roast and her stand-up specials. Her new book is uh, extremely funny. It's called Chocolate. Please, please welcome Lisa Lampanelli. <laughs> be mad at you right now. Why? Took me seven years to get on your dumb show. <laughs> and now he invites a bitch who talks about overeating when there's a San Gennaro festival outside. Oh, oh that's right. Because yeah. oh, your book is largely about overeating. Yeah. I'm yeah. sweating like Mackenzie Phillips at a family reunion. <laughs> Well, this will be a good test for you and your new regime, yes, shall we yes, say. Yes, yes, yes. Plus, you're Italian, so we thought it would be a good thing. What is yes. your favorite Italian food item? Well, I will tell you, spaghetti and meatballs, but I prefer a bologna sandwich, and not just to attract the black men, either. <laughs> is that how you do it? Yes, you do. Really? Oh, that's interesting. That and bail money. Was your mom... <laughs> I, I probably should point out... Less people who not know you get upset that you are very fond of um, African-American men. Yes, actually, I have two addictions in my life, chocolate uh -huh. men and chocolate food. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but now you're getting married. You're, you have a fiancé. Yes, I do. I uh, yeah. Jim, right here. Hey, Jim, how you doing? How are you? Good. Jim's got to be a... Uh, Jim's got to be a special guy. Yeah, he's yeah. very brave. He yeah. really is. Yes. You know, he's a very nice guy. See what happens when you lose weight? You get a white guy. <laughs> is that right? It's true. That yes. could be the title of your next book, yes. Lose Weight. <laughs> get a, well, why is it, what is it about black men in particular that attract you, well, you to them? Well, you know, because black men like the big butt. Oh, it's okay. true. It gives All them right. something to hide behind when the rent is due. <laughs> <laughs> They're always available to hang out with you between 9 and 5 every day. Uh-huh, that's nice. <laughs> it's a win-win for Lisa Lampin. Yeah, and, but now there must be a lot of disappointment now that you've, you've, <laughs> you're getting married. I mean, you've moved on. And yes, I have. There's yeah. crying all over Mississippi. Yeah, there is. I know. No, it's very... <laughs> you, um... You've been uh, the best audience ever, by the way. People probably know you best from the roasts, I would think, oh, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. And the, at these roasts, you are ruthless. I mean, really, like, you, there, nobody gets yeah. down and dirtier than you yeah, do. Yeah, I'm pretty brutal. Do you, ever, do you ever feel bad about any of the things that you say about, Whoa. like, about the things you said about me? Do you ever feel no, bad? No, 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 and I, I happen to have a copy of what I said about you right here. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Who is it? You, you actually wrote it all down? Yes, I did. Oh, great. Okay. Okay. Jimmy Kimmel is a chubby bastard. <laughs> but he's a chubby bastard who's overcome the odds. Ten years ago, you wouldn't see a guy like this on TV unless he was saying, time to make the donuts. <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel Live has the worst ratings ever. He's the only guy in history who could go from cable to network and get less famous. <laughs> No one watches your dopey show, Kimmel. A horse crapping up on a parade route has a bigger following than you. <laughs> By the way, I'm available to co-host. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate you stopping there, by the way. Yes, it got worse. <laughs> but have you ever felt bad about anything that you said about somebody? I gotta be honest, don't turn against me, audience. Uh, <laughs> I once said, and I feel terrible, we were roasting Jerry Lewis. Yeah. You know, he's very old, decrepit, could die at any time. <laughs> so I looked at him and I said, don't worry, Jerry, it's almost over. <laughs> I don't mean the roast. Right, right. I felt bad because he you had did? a heart attack two days later. Oh. Coincidence? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> but Jerry probably laughed at yeah, that, Yeah, of course right? he did. Yeah, yeah, he's a good sport. Come on, he's old. His bag broke. What does he care? Yeah. <laughs> Now, this, uh, I think this is pretty funny, that the book is uh, it not only number one on Amazon's comedy list, but it's number two in the, on the cookbook, cookbook list. Cookbook. Yeah. People are so but stupid. But it's not a cookbook. <laughs> My fans are idiots. They order this thinking there's recipes. Are you kidding me? There are me? no recipes. Uh, well, there's one. Yeah, how to make an Oreo cookie with me and two of the Wayans brothers. That's it. <laughs> Well, if you like that, there's plenty of it in the book. It's called Chocolate, Please. It is in stores now. And you can see Lisa live tomorrow.
Tomorrow night at the Widener Center in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and October 2nd at the Saroyan Theater in Fresno. Thank you for coming, Lisa. Thank you. I love Lisa it. Lisa Lampanelli, everybody. We'll be right back with pizza throwing.